Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher. Neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel we are all ambassadors in christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers Gino jennings is one preacher whom i find very confident and courageous over the years the threats and the attacks this man has received from all over the world is something to wear him down but this man remains strong and standing without any fear by the way i applaud him for this because many preachers are afraid of speaking out some things in the fear of how the world will take them we are the ambassadors of christ and we should stand against all odds for what is true before god and for the people of god Let's listen to Pastor Gino Jennings address this matter of the purple gang of the Hebrew Israelites. Makes me feel good to look at some of the things that God showed. Just some of the things. I told the church years ago, many years ago, I told the church that this gospel, you will see how strong it is and how powerful it is until you will see religious organizations protesting <laughs> out in the street with signs. It came to pass last Sunday in Philadelphia. Amen. Prophecy came to pass to Hebrew Israelites while we was in service. Headquarters was packed from front to back and I was wondering why the brothers kept moving around and I stopped teaching and said, what's going on? Hebrew Israelites, maybe two or three hundred, came out the outside of the campus and surround the whole campus. <laughs> Amen. Surround the whole campus. And they actually felt this dough that I should have stopped having service to come outside and accommodate them. So they was out there lined up with their purple and gold shirts and whatnot. And many of them were shocked because they didn't realize the campus was that big. So while they was marching around the campus, many of them, some were saying all type of foul things out of his mouth. And then he was walking, he said, do you see this? This pathogen is must have been a big time drug dealer before he came in the church to get this. No, Elohim gave it to us. Hallelujah. Jehovah gave it to us. I am that I am gave it to us. So the so-called Hebrew Israelites thought if they would be outside, they set speakers up in flyers. When the brothers told me about it, I felt good. <laughs> I can't begin to express to you the joy that rung in my soul because the Lord showed me that visions, the vision of religions protesting, but he never told me when and who. But they done it when the apostles was here and so they said, we gotta stop these men before they turn the world upside down. They didn't surround T.D. Jakes. They didn't surround Creflo Dollar. They didn't surround Benny Hinn. 
It's the truth of God that's causing a disturbance here. Listening to Pastor Gino Genic speak, I could relate with him because we have all witnessed things happening and all people could say is that it is either this person is in the Freemason, Illuminati, or they are drug dealers. I tend to ask myself, does it mean a person confident with their God cannot be firm enough to stand by their own? knowing God is on their side. But it did happen in the Bible. We saw it with Daniel. We also saw it with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All these people stood against the king, knowing very well or putting all their faith and trust in God. I see the same thing with Pastor Gino Jennings. Pastor Gino Jennings has refused to, to eat that which belongs to the king and bowed to the will of God. So they said that I should have came out and they got mad because yeah. I told the brothers and sisters, when you leave and go outside after the benediction, if they come to you, treat them respectfully, speak to them and keep going like they're not there. That's right. That's right. They didn't like that. Now, since last Sunday, I received several letters from other Hebrew Israelite organizations apologizing. <laughs> apologizing for the antics of the so-called brethren. Let me say, the truth of God have an international platform. And they wanted me to come outside because they want our platform. And they are mad because we won't give them our platform. I don't call you Hebrew Israelites. In the 1920s and the 1930s, I believe it was either in New York or Chicago, there was a game called the Purple Game. That's all you are to me. And your purple and gold pajamas, you're nothing but the purple game. They say he don't preach God is black. I most certainly do not. I preach God is a spirit. Give me Romans. Romans chapter 9. And then give me Revelation. Romans chapter 9, and we'll start at verse 5. This is what I think of you so-called Hebrew Israelites, the purple game. Amen. See, everyone that claims they are Israel is not Israel. That's right. This is the same ones you see on the corners. Cussing. You can see them on social media where folks that videotape them. Beating up women, stomping them, slapping them around, abusing them. They surround the whole church. And let me say it to the purple gang. <laughs> I'm from the hood. I'm used to noise. That's right. Do you really think your hollering and screaming moved me? I'm from Huntington Park. I was raised among hollering and screaming. That don't move me. Though when hosts should encamp against me. Your hollering and screaming, your antics, I must say it was, it was a pretty decent show. <laughs> pretty decent performance. And they done what I knew they would do, eventually leave. Notice what the book says in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 9 and we're at verse 6. You see, I am sound yes, sir. Yes, sir. in the faith that when I declare I'm not intimidated by anybody, I mean it. Yes. You surrounding the truth of God's 
campus. You have no idea how much of a blessing you were to the truth of God. What you've done, you have brought more attention to the campus until some are here now that used to be Hebrew Israelites that had repented and were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. If confidence was a person, then that should be Pastor Geno Jennings. This man has faced the people who thought they were mafias in the gospel ministry. He has pointed out facts that many preachers are afraid of speaking, and this is one reason I love Pastor Geno Jennings about. The reason we have so many people in the world attacking the church is because the people we call preachers who are supposed to stand for the gospel are also in the world doing the things of the world but putting on masks as preachers. Prosperity gospel is what has brought the church to the stage we are today but God remains faithful and he will surely use the few he has chosen for himself to fight for the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this is one preacher who ain't moved by noise. Oh, no. You can holler until you lose your voice. Pastor Jennings is not intimidated by nobody and nothing. This shows you how strong the gospel is. Where religion will come and encircle the entire church. You could have yelled all day, but these walls of Jericho would never come down. The Bible is not designed to cater to nobody's color. Who cares how black you are? In the 30s, in the 20s, in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, the Ku Klux Klan had the same Cheap, weak, frail teaching. They call themselves white Christians. Burning crosses. Their uniforms, white sheets. White pillowcases. And their bigot belief, all heaven would be white and black folk had no chance of being saved. The Hebrew Israelites come with the same thing. That Jesus died only for people of color. And all white folk are lost. Now I have a very interesting question. To all black historians who have any knowledge of slavery, according to history, people of color was kidnapped from Africa, brought to Europe and also to America, sold like livestock. And whatever bigot purchase you, he purchased you with the attitude you was nothing but like a horse, an ox. You were property. To identify his property, he or she took the name of its master. I want you to follow me good. Then your enslaved master took your mama, your sister, your daughter, and had unlawful sex with them at will. 
So then the children that was born on that plantation. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much guys. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.